struggling to build that next perfect presentation, whether it's for a client pitch or a proposal, a piece of coursework or an upcoming assignment. If you're struggling in PowerPoint and need the help of AI to build you a PowerPoint presentation, well, I've got you covered. Because imagine building a PowerPoint in minutes where AI can do all the heavy lifting for you. So we're gonna check out how Copilot in Microsoft 365 can build professional presentations in minutes around different ideas and even use corporate templates from the workplace to ensure that your PowerPoint always remains on brand. So are you ready to create something amazing in just minutes? Let's dive in and see how it's possible. So let's get started and create some presentations with the help of Microsoft 365 Copilot. The first example we're going to use could be really helpful if you're working on a research project, maybe a course assignment or even a piece of homework because we're gonna use information derived from the internet. So to do that, what I can use is a variety of different Microsoft enabled templates. And yes, we will cover how to use corporate templates a little later. So let's go ahead and choose one of the templates here. I'll go ahead and select this template from a minimalist presentation. And we can now begin populating our PowerPoint with some content. But I'm gonna have Microsoft Copilot help us with generating that content. What I need to do here is select the Copilot button at the top of our PowerPoint slide, and you'll see an option to create a presentation about. In doing so, what we can now do is add our prompt into this dialogue, which will enable Copilot to integrate our slides. Remembering that we're not gonna use business data here, rather information derived from the internet. So it's really good for those scenarios around research projects, assignments, and more. Let's go ahead and add in our topic and our prompt into Copilot. So with our prompt now added into Copilot, you can see we're gonna be covering a topic around the emerging use of AI in professional services organizations. I've also ensured I've specified the language requirements and also told Copilot the viewers of the presentation, ensuring that the right level of content is therefore created. With that now done, let's go ahead and send it into Copilot and it begins to generate topics around the presentation. And looking through this here, we can make any changes. For example, I could reorder the slides by left click and dragging, or I could even click on the trash can to remove a given section. But I'm quite happy with what AI and Copilot are gonna generate for us. So let's select generate slides, and now we see a more detailed slides now appearing inside of Copilot. This will be the content that's now being created live inside of our slides. This can take a few minutes, but as you can see, Copilot is generating a large number of slides all around these topics. And the slides have now been generated. We can see at the bottom, I can select keep it to ensure that we now keep these slides. And we can see that Copilot has now generated 27 slides here. And to also see them in more detail, we'll simply head up to the view option and now choose the normal. So we can actually see the normal view of these slides. And there we go. We can now see our slides have been generated by Copilot, including specific images to also convey these ideas, which means I'm now ready to present this content to my peers. And it's only taken me a few minutes to generate and get ready to have an awesome presentation. Before we dive into the next section, I've got something that can really improve your skills. If you want to change the way that you work with AI tools like Microsoft 365 Copilot, why not check out our free Microsoft 365 Copilot ebook? You'll find it linked below with tips and tricks on how to use Copilot in Outlook, PowerPoint, and more. So why not improve the way that you work with Copilot and Microsoft tools by downloading our ebook today? And best of all, it's completely free. So now you've got an ebook to improve your skills. Let's carry on with Copilot and PowerPoint and create some more awesome presentations. And now we've got an awesome presentation, we can consider a different scenario. When you're creating your presentations, you may not want to use information derived from the web. Instead, what you'll want to use is business data, and Copilot and PowerPoint can accommodate that too. Now, I already have a document outlining Project Green Space and also the project information. I'd like to use that in one of my PowerPoint presentations. And to do that, we do things a little differently. Now I'm not gonna use a corporate template. We're gonna see that very shortly and how to use that. But let's go ahead and select a new blank presentation. And in the Copilot option, choose create a presentation from a file. 
This time the sidebar opens on the right hand side of PowerPoint and you'll see by clicking the forward slash key we can now select files and choose relevant files that you've worked with inside of Microsoft 365. Yes, PDFs are also supported and Word documents as well. Let's go ahead and select this project specification and inside of this prompt I can also add further detail, defining the audience and the language requirements once again. I'll go and update this prompt and then send it into Copilot. And now I've expanded on my prompt and sent it into Copilot, on the right hand side we can see once again it's generating the outline for our presentation. And in real time, we'll also see here it begins to create the content live on my screen. But I at this point didn't use a template, so Copilot is now choosing the appropriate design and adding it into the slides. But once again clicking through this, we can see this information is not derived from the web. In fact, it's taken directly from our project specification I shared with Copilot. But of course, the main problem here is likely the template or design. If you don't have a template you want to work with, you can also change Copilot's designs. For example, on this slide, I could go over to the designer option in the top right of PowerPoint, and I could choose a different type of design for my slide. So that is another option. But here we've created a PowerPoint presentation using bespoke or confidential information derived from your organization with files that only you have access to. And that's a great way to quickly create a PowerPoint from a document or PDF in readiness for one of your client meetings or a meeting with your peers. But however, maybe your clients won't like this template. Instead, you're working with a corporate template, right? And with Copilot, we can also use those too. So in this example, let's go ahead and select the file option and once again, select new. This time I'll select personal and I already have an organizational template I've set up. We'll also share more information on how to use Copilot with templates in one of our blog articles linked below. But I'll go ahead and select create and we can see here we have a slide deck for your 365 coach. And we also have the relevant structures set out and our content into. But once again, I'm gonna use the same option with Copilot. Selecting the Copilot option and this time create a presentation from a file. And then once again, now going to select the same file and give it the same information in the prompt. And we can now see in real time that once again, Copilot begins to generate the ideas to be added inside of our slide deck. And within minutes, Copilot has now generated a new presentation for us. But noting this time, we're using the actual corporate template that we can now utilize for our presentation. It's still using images and the like inside of our presentation, but now we're using one of our corporate or personal templates to create our content from, ensuring that when you go to your meetings with your peers and also your colleagues, you'll be right on brand when it comes to using Copilot and PowerPoint. And finally, what about images? Inside of your presentation, there are a number of images already used. Instead, I'd like a custom image from Microsoft Designer using once again Copilot and AI capabilities. Can I do that inside a PowerPoint? And you absolutely can. For example here, we've got a single path inside of a forest. I'd like to change this and use a different type of image. Well, all we then need to do is head over into the Copilot sidebar and we can give it a prompt to also create a new image that's more fitting to our presentation. I'll go ahead and add a prompt inside of our Copilot sidebar. And by adding this prompt here to create an image showing a green forest with people walking down a pathway on a sunny day, we can see that as now invoked Microsoft Designer. What I'll do in readiness is delete the image here, so I don't want to use that in my slide deck. But actually, some of these are really good. I'll select this image here, and now I can select Insert, and it's brought straight into my slide deck in PowerPoint. I can make the adjustments needed to make sure that the image fits the appropriate slide, but now we've got a new image for our PowerPoint deck that's ready to share with your peers and show off an image that someone won't find anywhere else. And you can use those images from Designer across all of your different slides inside a PowerPoint. And as simple as that, you've now created a new PowerPoint for one of your projects using a corporate template, bespoke images, all created in just a few minutes. And that's it. We've now generated multiple PowerPoint presentations in just minutes. Whether we needed a PowerPoint presentation to work on an assignment or a research project, we could see how Copilot using information derived from the web could build out 
a whole PowerPoint file. But then we considered the other options using information from your Microsoft 365 environment in SharePoint Teams and OneDrive and bringing that into PowerPoint and even using the all important corporate templates to make sure that your presentations remain on brand. And you can see how these technologies can make it really easy to now build out PowerPoints at work both for your clients, colleagues and also for different types of work all generated in minutes that you can adapt and make even better. And if you found this tutorial helpful, then why not hit that like button or even better the subscribe button because we've got over 200 videos on our channel dedicated to help you use the tools you already have in much better ways. And if you want to take your co-pilot expertise to the next level too, don't forget the free ebook link below to give you the skills inside of the other office apps when you're using Copilot. Other than that, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.